Britain's biggest supermarket, Tesco, has promised to take immediate action after a BBC investigation revealed that two-thirds of deals on the shelves were out of date and weren't being deducted at the checkout. An undercover team visited 50 branches across England over a three-month period. Tesco says it's working to make sure its prices are accurate. Jonathan Gibson reports. If we see a special offer on the supermarket shelves, we expect to pay that price at the till. But that doesn't always happen at Tesco. The gingerbread, they're on offer two for three pounds, but it hasn't come off. And the cat food, um, the deal was three for eight pounds. And here's why. Labels are up to year to date. That's oh, the are they? Is, yeah, one's a new month to date. The other one's three weeks to date, so I'm like, that's great. Oh, right, oh, blimey. The BBC's Inside Out programme visited 50 Tesco stores across England and found out-of-date special offers in 33 of them. Yeah, the person who does this job did leave, so we oh. wait for the new person to come somewhere. At some stores, staff say it's a recurring problem. Guess what? The offer has expired. The offer has expired. Does that happen much then? Today I've been on the right one today. Oh, there's been lots today, is there? Yeah. Ah, right. And at another store, a worker blames the error on being short-staffed. Cut the department in half. Ah, right. Somebody needs to tell how so that it's not working. In most stores, workers remove the label straight away, but not everywhere. At this store, the cashier refunds the difference, but doesn't remove the label. So it's still on display when we go back in the next day, the next week, and one month later. The fourth cashier finally removes it. There were obviously major problems with their control of the, of the special offers and it's the special offers that bring customers in, make people reach for more and perhaps spend a little bit more than they meant to when they came into the store. So um, that is very, very worrying. Throughout our investigation, Tesco did refund the difference when informed about the discrepancies. The company wouldn't provide anyone for interview, but after reviewing the BBC's evidence said... We are disappointed that errors occurred and we will be working with the stores involved to reinforce our responsibilities to our customers. Following our investigation, Britain's biggest supermarket has said it will be double-checking the accuracy of every price in every store. That's more than 3,500 stores across Britain. Jonathan Gibson, BBC News. And viewers in most English regions will be able to watch Inside Out's full report on BBC One at half past seven this evening and also online on the BBC iPlayer. Pensioners are on average.